In this video tutorial, I want to talk about the Facet Dome tool and how you can use it to produce a Voronoi cell on a surface, on a revolved surface, basically. So, first of all, we will try to produce a revolved surface. Uh, and here you can see that I can change the form of the dome and uh, by defining the height of this point and after that I will uh, explain how you can produce the points how facet dome uh, will produce the pattern on the surface and at last we will uh, produce the um, loft uh, which are the cells of the facet dome tool and you can see here and uh, this will be the end of the tutorial so basically this tutorial will uh, talk about the facet dome tool and you can also find this tool by double click and searching for dome uh, here and you can also go and uh, search in the uh, mesh and in the triangulation section and here we have the facet dome tool Okay, to start from scratch, uh, I'm going to define uh, three points in the uh, Rhino interface and this will be the three points for an arc. And then I'm going to draw an arc on those three points and finally I'm going to revolve this arc to produce a dome. So, uh, first we can go to the point section in the params menu and put this in the grasshopper let me just use the bifocals okay I'm going to go into the front view and have three points so this will be set one point zero set one point zero and again zero because then I'm going to control the uh, control these points okay the first one will just move in the X direction the second will move in the X and the Z direction and the third will only move in the Z direction because we are going to connect these points for an arc. So uh, now we can go to the curve section. Okay, let's just simplify that. Simplified the menu and now we're going to go to the primitive section in the curve and use the arc three point. So now we're going to go to the arc three point the first point of the curve, the arc, the second and the last. And now you can see that this will be a parametric arc now. And we can change the location of the points. And here we go. Okay. So uh, now I'm going to go to the perspective mode and we have to revolve this uh, section around the x, uh, the z axis. So you can find this by typing rev and using the revolution tool or going to the surface, freeform and revolution. So now I'm going to revolve this uh, section and that will be the arc. The curve will be the arc which I will be revolving. The second input will be the axis uh, of the revolution and you have to give it a line so basically we can't give a z vector to this so I'm going to use another tool called SDL uh, start direction length tool for a line or you can find this in the curve tool the primitive and let's start with 0 0 0 this will be the point of the line the direction will be the Z so you can see that there will be a line basically with a length of one and that's okay we don't need a complete line up here and that will produce the line we need for the revolution and I will give this to the axis and the domain you can see here that consists from a 0 to 2p that's in radians so I can change this by giving it a p and giving a number between 0 to 2 
and by changing this we can produce uh, the base surface for the dome so two uh, will be a complete revolution and one will be a half a revolution and you can check this out okay so uh, you can change the dome by changing these points and adjusting the way you want it okay and here we go and if I just bake this surface you can see that we have the surface the revolved surface okay now it's the time to produce the Voronoi cells on that so I'm going to give a facet uh, dome here or a dome you can also search for a dome the first input will be the points uh, a 3d point cloud which means that it will try to make Voronoi cells uh, based on a sphere on those points so let me explain it like this if you use the populate geometry tool so that's a pop and the populate geometry tool okay and uh, we can produce uh, multiple points random points on this surface so I'm going to give the surface to the geometry you can see that I can give a count here maybe 150 and we can change the number and we can also give a seed to this a seed is a number which will change the uh, population so I'm going to give it a, a number here and each uh, individual number will give you a random distribution so and the last is the points which you want to add to this okay we have the population here and you can see that I have gave the points on the surface but the facet dome will produce a sphere like uh, Voronoi cells so basically why I use the revolution is because uh, the facet dome will produce a sphere and a sphere is near uh, the surface of the dome so we can uh, just go and use this technique okay well, we have the cells here we don't need the box the box is the optional bounding box of this um, okay let me just show you you have to define a box but usually we don't need that because uh, you can define where the cells are going to finish so if I just uh, put another box here you can see that it can't produce the cells because uh, basically the sphere will be here uh, let me show you the points are out and it can't recognize outside of the box so either you have to give it a box completely uh, having all the surface okay let's check this out I'm going to go to the Z down here and maybe control all the box okay you have to give it a box which will contain all the points uh, and the, uh, the points should be in the box so we don't need that okay and the radius is a number you can give to this cells so if I give it a number and let me just turn these population off and decrease the number you can see that circles will produce will be produced on those points so uh, on the sphere okay so we don't need this too but if you just change the number you can see that those circles are colliding uh, I've talked and explained about the radius in the Voronoi tool so you can check the uh, Voronoi tutorial too so let's just delete this and have all the cells now we want the cells exactly on the surface so I'm going to use the pull curve tool and pull these Voronoi cells into the surface and now we're going to give this a pull curve use this pattern or the curves okay that's the Voronoi cells you can see here we will put them on the surface the base surface we will we need now and just turn everything off and you can see that it will go uh, into the dome and uh, the cells will be produced so we can just change the 
distribution and we can change the number of the cells uh, exactly in this surface so what's the problem with these cells uh, the first one is that the ending cells don't have a boundary so it's just an open curve this is the first problem we have here and the next is that these cells are just curved so you can see it exactly here that the cells are just a curved one so I'm going to give a simple technique so you can modify the Voronoi cells we can connect these points to uh, each other with a line so it will just make uh, more logical Voronoi cells so I'm going to go to the curve tool and use the explode tool here explode those curves and then I'm going to go to the polyline tool in the curve section connect these vert uh, vertices to each other and let's just turn this off okay and closed uh, the cells it will just connect the start to the end so you can see these cells are better because they are just polylines and the most important thing is we can't get the centers because if you use the area tool on these uh, curves you can see you can't get them because they are curved they are in a, a freeform uh, curve tool but once we just make the polylines there's a trick here you can go to the curve tool and use the polygon center okay so I'm going to the polygon center and when we have a polygon we can uh, extract the center here so basically we have three centers centers of the vertices center of the edges and center of the area so I'm going to give the point to this and now we can just scale these so I'm going to use the scale uh, let's scale this polyline based on this center and we can just give it a number between 0 and 1 35% and now we can just change this okay now uh, this is just uh, going to uh, end with a loft so I'm going to loft this uh, inner scaled curve with the outer uh, polyline I'm going to use the loft tool and the first polyline to the scaled one and now we can just turn this off and here we are let's just bake this and you can see that I have produced the cells just let's put on the rendered okay you can also connect all these together join them and maybe make a solid from them or whatever so this is a small video tutorial of how you can use a, a revolved surface and the, uh, the facet dome to produce the Voronoi cells on the surface and then just let uh, let them scale and then make the cells into the surface thank you for watching and if you have any questions feel free to ask underneath this video